Hello and welcome to another episode here on the Mole Under Management channel. My name is Chaos Mole, and today we take a deep dive at how to expand your empire and do it quickly enough so that you're not falling behind against the AI. I see this topic coming up quite a bit that people are playing a few rounds and then in round 30 or even round 20, they feel already they have been falling behind the AI and they don't really know what they did wrong. So that's what I want to answer in today's video. Now, before we do this, quick note, if you enjoy the video, and you want to support the channel, please don't forget to like on your way out. And also, if you're new to the channel, you want to see more Age of Wonders 4 deep dive videos. And of course, we are doing reviews to new strategy games coming up, like everything strategy related from turn based strategy to real time strategy to uh, city management games, building games and so on and so forth. You will find here on the mobile under management channel because that's what we are focusing on. And if you enjoy that, I would love it when you consider to subscribe to the channel. Now, with that said, let's jump into the topic. You start a new empire in Age of Wonders 4 and you already think, oh man, where, where do I build my outposts? When do I build my cities? Am I already behind? What's going on? Well, the good news is I have prepared a map here for you and you can already see that things are not going too well. This is my main city. We have a free city up here, which is my vessel, so it's not really a big problem and I don't consider this an issue. But we can also see that right next to my main city, we have another AI player, which is slowly growing. They came through the underground passage and they immediately started to build some outposts slash cities right next to my main city. And you might think, oh, wow, that's a problem, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is a problem, but the good news is I have also quite a bit of outposts already up and running and even another city in round 24, and I was relatively slow. There is another city I will build up here um, in the next one or two rounds, but for you showing what to do, this is more than enough. And the thing we really have to talk about is... You have to stop being in that mindset of other 4X games and especially civilization. Let's be real here. When you are starting to prepare to conquer a new city or to build a new city in civilization games, it is quite of an event. It would take quite a bit of resources from you. It would take 9 to 12 rounds, especially at the beginning. Then you also have to move your settler to the position where you want to go on the map, which, well, if you are unlucky, is might getting attacked by barbarians or takes another four to five rounds before actually the settler reaches the point. And again, it costs quite a bit of resources. So building a settler in the Sith games is quite an undertaking. And you try to find like the best position on the map where the city will make sense for many, many turns to come, right? When you are looking at this area here in particular, if this would be a civilization game, you would look at this and you would go, ah, this is not really great at all for a city. Why would I build anything here? But fun fact, I will actually build an outpost here at some point, probably. Now, the thing is, that's not how it works in Age of Wonders 4. In Age of Wonders 4, outposts are trivial. They are not really costing you a lot of resources. In fact, they can actually make you money and they're easy to build. So you have to leave this mindset behind of, oh, should I build an outpost there? Nah, it's not really a perfect position. Maybe I should come back later to it. Like this one here. This isn't really a perfect position. It's great to secure uh, my lands, sure, but it's not really great when it comes to resources. Doesn't matter. I did put down an outpost. Oh, this outpost is pretty close to the other one. That's not really perfect, right, in a Civ game. Doesn't matter in Age of Wonders. Like, I have another city here. Like, just put down your outposts. They're not costing much. And as I said, I will explain to you how they actually can make you money and don't have to cost you money. But take a hero and start to put down the outposts. And even better, get a second hero immediately. But more, wait a minute... I'm over my limit when I want to recruit a hero. Yeah, so am I. It doesn't matter. Like, you can go over the limit of how many heroes you're allowed to recruit. The only thing which will happen 
is that you have to pay a hero cap tax and that is 30 gold per round but having two heroes right at the beginning is absolutely worth it and also you make a lot of money the early game no matter if you're focusing on money or not you make quite a bit of money through um annexing like new territories finding gold and so on and so forth money is not really an issue at all at the beginning and having two heroes immediately who can just run around in different directions and building outposts is such a treat so get a second hero also if you're lucky and you're playing the barbarians which by the by i do not uh, but if you are playing the barbarians their scouts have actually the ability to build a so-called trailblazer outpost what is that doing well it's the same thing as an outpost it just costs double the amount of money and it also takes more turns to build said outpost but if you're playing the barbarians and you don't necessarily want to get another hero or you want to have two heroes and a scout running around putting down those outposts do it it will help you so much because the one thing you shouldn't forget outposts do not count to the city limit you can see i have two outposts here and another city which i just transformed from an outpost into a city and i'm only at two out of four cities outposts do not matter and even if you later on decide you know what this outpost is shit this does make no sense for me let's destroy it just destroy it and you're good right like you don't have to keep the outpost now let's talk about one of the most important aspects here probably some people have been already pointing out is well Mo, that's all nice and all but do you know that outposts are quite expensive yeah but that doesn't have to be that way first things first when you were building an outpost it costs you 50 gold and then the more problematic part part is that an outpost will also cost you 10 gold per turn so the more outposts you're putting down the more expensive it becomes but the good news is again this doesn't have to be that way you can put down the outpost like i did always next to a gold mine and when you are already there with your hero what you're normally doing i have missed this because i'm a dingus here you clean out the gold mine like i did in this area already right i cleaned out the gold mine and then immediately when i put down the outpost well it were also using um the gold mine or you build an outpost next to a gold mine like i did here because i wanted to get the cheap for food and I wanted to get like the gold for the outpost and then you are putting down a mine after you did build a worker outpost inside the outpost right so you can have outposts who are running net positive I know those two don't but believe me this city did like this city actually before I transformed it made me money through the gold mine and through the resources I had at my disposal. I just have to clean the gold mines here because I have <laughs> completely forgotten that at the beginning because I'm a dingus. Um, but that's what you should do. Like whenever you put down an outpost, see if there's a gold mine somewhere lying around. And to be honest, that happens quite often. Like there are so many gold mines on the map you can just utilize when you were expanding your territory like gold mines are everywhere so whenever you think okay i want to put down an outpost here look where the next gold mine is put down an outpost and then your outpost doesn't have to cost you any money and it can actually make you money and we can go even further than that and for that we have to go into the empire development so first things first if you didn't know about this quick reminder don't forget to skill expanded governance this increases your city cap by plus one and what some people don't notice is it says repeatable general right you can click on this as often as you like well as often as you have the imperium for it but this is repeatable 
you can use this to increase your city cap till the end of time. Well, till the Imperium cost is becoming too high and it goes pretty quickly. But this is how you increase your city cap over and over and over again. But what I highly recommend is to get this. Military engineering. Outposts cost 50% less gold, take one turn less to build, and start with the Palisade wall structure built. Now, I can already hear you saying, wait more, but I'm not really putting anything in Materium Affinity. Like, I'm not focusing on that at all. Yeah, me neither. The only thing I did is when I bought um, my second hero, right? When I bought Carol, the thinker, to make sure that he had Materium. And then I had to put him into a city, which I had early on, right? And then bam, I'm now getting Materium affinity every turn. And I could get that pretty easy. So even if you're not focusing on Materium, it's easy to get. And like after, I would say, round 20, the latest, you have enough points to get this. Now, to make this clear, you don't need it. Because unfortunately, what it doesn't do, it only reduces the cost when you build an outpost for the first time. So it would reduce the cost from an outpost of 50 gold to 25 gold. It will still cost you 10 gold per turn, nonetheless. So that's a bit unfortunate that you cannot reduce that by 50%. Then um, that perk would have been pretty OP. But yeah, it doesn't do that. So if you really cannot make it to get that perk, that's completely fine. It will not ruin you. It's just a nice thing to have nonetheless. But as I said, the one thing you really have to look out for is put some outposts down. Like literally just put them down. They will not hurt you, I swear. It's not a bad decision to put down an outpost. It's more a bad decision not to put down an outpost. And if you want to look out for your money a little bit and you want to have a plus minus zero, make sure that you're building it next to a gold mine and you clear out the gold mine with your army, which is um, around that area because you just built the outpost, right? So do that and you have enough outposts very quickly. You can then later on transform into cities and you don't have to have the feeling that you are falling behind because that's the problem a lot of people have that at round 30 they see for the first time the map and they have only like one city or two extra cities like just build the outposts you can still later on decide if you want them or not if you still have some ideas to increase your empire size let me know down below in the comments also thank you very much for watching as I said, make sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And we will be back with more Age of Wonders 4 deep dives in the next few days. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. And I hope I see you next time. Bye-bye.